first look at Ubuntu Touch aka UB ports running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and guess what? We got Ubuntu Touch running on the Poco F1. It is not a daily driver yet, but those of you who like to tinker with your devices, you do have the option of playing with Ubuntu Touch. Let us have a look at Ubuntu Touch or UB ports running on the POCO F1. So this is how it looks out of the box. This is how your lock screen looks like. You can swipe in either direction to unlock your device. And the other thing you can do is while you're on the lock screen, if you swipe from the top, it will show you different options. So you have a bar on the top. As you can see right now, we are on notifications and you can also change it to rotation. So there it is you see we have rotation then we have keyboard layout we have files so you have multiple options in the top bar now because the poco f1 has a notch so it's not looking very good but from a point of view of using your device this is a pretty good feature next up as you can see these are the notifications i have so if i swipe on this voicemail notification i now get the option of deleting it for text messages you have the same thing so if you swipe you can delete it but if you tap on it you can reply from the lock screen itself and as you can see we do have a pretty nice keyboard now this keyboard is pretty dope trust me i will show you the features of this keyboard later in this video and you will be super impressed another nifty feature is that let us say we are on battery so i do have the option of opening battery settings right from the lock screen and if I go into the calendar application and before you ask me I did try changing the date and time but that's not working anyways so we are on the calendar application we do have our calendar on the lock screen if I tap on the date and time BAM there it is the calendar application opened and those animations are super smooth next up you can swipe from the left and this is your applications which are right now open in the memory and pinned applications so applications which have a dot beside them are open in the memory right now applications which do not have a dot beside them are pinned applications which have been pinned to this bar if you want to see all the apps which are installed you can either tap on the ubuntu icon or the other thing you can do is you can swipe twice so swipe once for the pinned and apps which are open in the memory and if you swipe again it should open the apps which are installed now how do you see your recents well all you need to do is swipe from the right and hold a little so if i swipe from the right and hold bam there it is these are my recent applications and again the animations are super smooth for this to be a port and this recents looks even better when you are in landscape mode here it is have a look at those recents and have a look at those super smooth animations now let us say you want to open an application well you just tap on it and the application will open and if you do a fast swipe from the right you can switch between the different applications now the only downside is that you do not have a swipe in the other direction so let us say i want to switch to the previous app i cannot swipe in this direction to open the previous application you have to swipe only in this direction of course i do have a case on which is interfering with the swipe so it doesn't look perfect but it works absolutely fine another thing you can do is let us say you want to kill an application right so you press and hold this guy and then you can swipe up to kill the application and another thing you will notice is that you have the application icon at the bottom in your recents so as i keep on swiping across the recents you will see that right now we are at the calculator then this is the gallery application then you have messaging as well so again a pretty nifty feature and if you open your bar which is on the left you can also pin and unpin applications so let us say press and hold on this icon and then you can pin this to the shortcut bar or you can just quit the application which is going to kill it from the recents as well next up we can have a look at the customizations or we can go into system settings so this is the settings icon so first up you have an icon on the top right to search within the settings then you have 
a toggle to enable or disable flight mode and the same applies for rotation lock as well you can customize or search for wi-fi unfortunately for me on the poco f1 wi-fi is not working and the same applies for cellular data cellular data is also not working so sorry to disappoint you volt peeps then you have the option for bluetooth hotspot and vpn so we can go into background and these are the different wallpapers which come baked in all you need to do is just tap on one of the items and then click on set and it is going to change the wallpaper on the home screen and the lock screen as well then you can go into sound and you do have a toggle for silent mode now while we are on the topic of sound this is how your volume panel looks like and the only downside is that you cannot use the slider in the volume panel to increase or decrease the volume you can use the slider which shows up in the sound page but you cannot use the slider above then you also have the option of changing your ringtone toggles for vibrate on ring vibrate in silent mode dial pad tones change your message ringtone and you have a check mark and toggles to change vibrate with message sound vibrate in silent mode keyboard sound and other vibrations then in language and text these are the multiple customizations you have for your keyboard and keyboard theming in the building these are the different themes which you can use with your keyboard and you can also change the opacity of your keyboard pretty nifty features in ubuntu touch next up we have accounts you have the option of adding evernote account google account evernote account would be for your notes and of course i do not have data on this build so i was unable to add my google account to test the features which are working or not working then we have notifications you can configure apps that notify with the sound tap on it you have check marks beside each of the application and the same applies with apps with notify with vibration you can also choose do not vibrate and configure that as well next up you can also go into specific applications so let's say we go into the notes application you have a master toggle to turn on or off notifications and then you have options to turn off say sounds vibrations notification bubbles and notification list for each of these specific applications then you have system in system the first option is battery so it does show you your battery graph and you can of course change your system brightness from here the slider works absolutely fine when do you want your screen to sleep for me i have set it as never because i'm recording a video then you have toggles for wi-fi and bluetooth as well next up you have libertine now i am not much of a ubuntu guy so i have no idea about this option and then you have customization for your phone so you can configure call waiting call forwarding and if you want dial pad tones or not then if you connect mouse and touchpad using bluetooth you have options for those as well you can customize the date and time of course this is not working right now i did try changing it and they have a separate option for brightness wherein they only have the slider for brightness and then you have security and privacy so you can configure your locking and unlocking you can change your lock security you have different options right now i have set it as swipe which is no security you can choose a four digit pin code or a passphrase next up if you configure your lock security you can choose to say disable notifications and quick settings on the lock screen and the same applies for launcher as well next up in case you want to add a sim pin you have a option for that as well if you want to see the stats on the welcome screen or not we also have location so you can choose whether you want to use the gps or not and you also have app permissions in the building and apps that you have granted access to camera location and microphone so you can configure what all apps have access to camera location and microphone as for the power menu this is how your power menu looks like pretty simple power of restart and cancel those are your only options let's just tap on cancel for now and now we can have a look at the different applications which come baked in so of course you can slide up and down on this bar to move across different applications we can start off with the notes application so you do have a notes application baked in and you do have swipe down to refresh there it is you can see release to refresh and if you want to add a note all you need to do is swipe from the bottom in the upwards direction and then you can add a note next up we can have a look at the messaging application which comes baked in so we can open messaging and there it is those are your different messages 
if you swipe in this direction you have the option of deleting a message and if you press and hold then you should have the option of selecting multiple messages and then you can use the option on the top right to delete all of them in case you want to another nifty feature is that if you rotate your phone into landscape mode there it is i was finally successful in rotating it bam there it is you can see that we have a pretty nice view and the phone does act like a tablet right now because you have all your messages on the left and when you select a message you can see the content on the right hand side and while we are in the messaging app let me show you the cool features of this keyboard so let me type in something just some gibberish anyways swipe up from the keyboard and you have a new option right so now i can swipe on this blank screen or this blank page to move the cursor there it is you can see that as i swipe the cursor is moving then i have a select all option and i also have undo and redo in the building so undo redo undo redo and you also have these go to the end of the line go to the beginning of the line go to the bottom of the page go to the top of the page arrows as well and if i double tap i can enter selection mode so now bam you see that isn't that cool i mean i am very impressed with this keyboard and i certainly hope that these features do make it to android one day double tap one more time and it should take us out of the selection mode and now after a few seconds it will automatically switch over to the keyboard and that is how you receive a call that is your call notification you can also tap on message and decline and it is going to send any of these messages or if you want to accept the call you swipe in this direction if you want to reject the call then you swipe in this direction so basically what you have to do is move this gray icon either towards the green icon which is to accept the call or move it towards the red one to reject the call as we did right now and last but not the least we can have a look at the phone application which also has some very nice features so this is how your dialer looks like and you can always swipe up from the bottom to have a look at your call log you can view all of them or only missed calls if you swipe towards the right you have the option of deleting this call and if you swipe towards the left the eye icon will get you a detailed call log from this number then if you want to send a message you can tap on the middle icon and if you want to view the contact details of this number or this name you can click on the person icon and that is going to show you the details of this number so all in all ubuntu touch is a refreshing change in my opinion but there are a few features which i miss and the biggest feature which i miss is going to the home screen as an android user i have gotten used to a home screen and i'm pretty sure ios users have also gotten used to being on the default screen they do not have a home screen per se because the app drawer is their home screen and it is used interchangeably but in ubuntu touch you do not have the option of home screen or going to the home wherein you can just view your wallpaper because here it is this is how my lock screen looks like as soon as i unlock it's going to open the previous application i can of course switch between all the different applications but i do not have an option to go to the home screen per se as for the gestures and smoothness well very smooth ui and very impressive but they do need to mature the ui a little bit to compete with the apples and the androids so there it is peeps that was our first look at ubuntu touch or ub ports running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you